Well, most companies certainly treat compensation as an expense, not as an investment. In fact, it's understandable because it's probably the largest expense item on the income statement. And so when they're reviewing their budgets from year to year, they're looking at that large expense. Let's say it's $10 million, and they're trying to figure out, well, can we cut this? How do we, how do we appropriately increase it? In what areas do we increase it? But if they were thinking about it as an investment, the discussion might actually be more meaningful and more interesting. Imagine you had that $10 million invested somewhere in the market. Well, you'd probably have an investment strategy, an investment purpose. The allocation of the investment would be strategic, and you'd be expecting and measuring returns against certain benchmarks over time. Top companies actually treat their co total compensation investment that way as well. They total up the total value of their investment in their people, and at the end of the year, they have effective ways of measuring the returns on that investment. They separate the financial capital from the human capital. And as a result, they're able to, uh, to uh, report to their shareholders what the true return was on their productivity gains for their employees during that year. That's an effective way of using your total compensation investment.